guys! So today I'm going to make a fire and I'm going to make a fire pit looking something like this uh, like a keyhole so let's collect some stones Little spider. Come to, come to. There. Okay then, let's collect some dead wood, shall we? Okay, I'm going to collect some kindling or very dry dead wood because you're not allowed to take uh, any branches from living trees. So only things that are on the ground and that's easy to make a fire with. Oh, you know the smell? It smells forest. This is good. This is even better. With some twigs and branches. No, oh. these are wet. That's what I'm Great. Probably lose an eye or something. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I will make three different piles depending on what kind of material I have. So when the fire actually is burning, it will be easier for me to grab exactly the few I want to. Yeah, something like that. I will take these, put it in the bottom of the fire pit. Now my fire started. Paper. Well, perhaps. Well, this was more tricky than I thought it would be. Okay then, let's see if I can keep this one going. Oh. Some of these branches are not as dry as I wanted to, because it's been raining here in Sweden a couple of days. So I put them above the fire. This will make them dry. And uh, hopefully they will burn after a while. You can hear the moist leaving. I'll show you. 
look. Okay, I will not burn up my camera, my cell phone, but hey. <coughs> so, uh, I'm going to move the amber or the glow to this part of the fire pit. I'm just trying to move the fire into here, okay? without getting burned. Shall I try to get a fire here as well? <coughs> okay, I'm not supposed to breathe in all that kind of stuff. <gasps> <coughs> glow bed I'm going to put my water bottle I take this one off because it's some plastic so I'm going to put this one on the glow bed and make sure it's steady it's very hot there wow let's pour some water well if you got a lot of amber uh, but I haven't and as I said it has been raining in Sweden for a couple of days and it's very windy today so that might do it as well so let's try and see if this will work and yeah I believe it will I can see some water bubbles when you do a fire pit looking like a keyhole like this, you have to make sure the bigger fire is always burning. Because you want to move the amber into the little spot where you want to cook and you want to make those stones hot. So you always have a very, very high temperature. So, make sure the big fire <laughs> is always burning. You can see, it's a lot of smoke here and that's a sign that these shoes or these logs are quite wet. So this is not something you make if you are in an emergency, but if you're going to stay at a spot for a couple of days or for a longer time, I believe this will actually help you. If you have more time, uh, do collect rocks or stones that are flat, so you can put your frying pan or something on it when they get really hot. Oh, so I will eat this with my spork. I only got one spork in my go bag nowadays. And I do wonder how this will taste. It was very easy to open. Let's show you guys how this actually looks. Can you see this? Let's hold it like this so we can stand. You don't want to lose anything. I'll find a nice spot. Yeah, there. Okay, now let's see. Ow! Yay! Let's see if my gloves. Yeah. Yummy. Okay then. You 
have to wait for at least five minutes before you eat it. So, you just put it there and wait. Okay, let's. Left. Well, uh, if I'm if I was hungry and I really had to eat, I, I would eat this. I would. Uh, but I won't right now because I'm not that hungry. Uh, it tastes uh, like tomato soup, something, but. Yeah, it, it could work. This would keep me going, it really would. Uh, but um, no, I will not eat it right now. It, blah. Thank you for watching. Uh, please visit me at my new site on Facebook. The link is here. I got zero likes at the moment, but it's brand new. So next time I'm going to set up my emergency tent. So don't miss that one. See you next time.